Well, 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 if it isn't the champion of Stardew Valley himself, Grigna, who yesterday completed at long last the many bundles of the community center. And already at long last. I mean, 21st of, of summer isn't terrible year too. I think that's fine. That's acceptable for someone who hasn't played in ages. Stardew Hero Trophy. The most prestigious award a Stardew Valley resident could receive. So prestigious, we're going to stick it up here and probably never look at it again. <laughs> there you go. Wow, I'll put it in the sunlight. Excellent. Where's baby Grigna? We've got we've to make a concerted effort to actually speak to this little shitty child a bit more. There you are, tiny baby Grigna. Greetings. It is baby Grigna. Hello, my friend. Uh, so, lots to do today because we are on the... We're on the precipice. We're on a new beginning of, of something great. That, of course, being Ginger Island content I have never before seen in my entire human life. I'm not even sure it's real, and I'm not going to believe it's real until I've seen it with my very human eyes. Um, let's have a Grigna's breakfast of champions. There you go, triple shot espresso. Eventually, we'll upgrade from crab cakes back to uh, delicious eels. That won't be for a while, yeah? Wife, it is Grigna. Here, take this. It's for you. It's a bean hot pot. Thank you, Emily. You'll quote the bean hot pot yourself. Let's get out of here. Um, oh, hang on. Oh, shit. Hi, Grigna. Are you free this afternoon? What for? I finally got my act together. I'm doing my art show tonight in the town square. Come into town between three and five if you want to be there. I suppose we better. We were the one that encouraged it after. We'll go back and watch the Queen of Source in a second. Grigna, I want to share a secret with you. It's probably bad for business, but you're such a good friend that I don't care. A great angler has to know it. After saving a wizard's life in the sea, he taught me how to make a bait that would last forever on the hook. It's not difficult to make, but you'll need a very special item. Don't put it in crab pots or you'll lose it. From Willy. <laughs> Thank you, Willy. And then, uh, oh, Grigna, I've unlocked the back room of the shop. Come by when you have a chance. There's something I want to show you. How very ominous. Hello, it's George. Oh, shit, he sent us the recipe for spicy eel. What a legend. Speaking of which, uh, Jody has also sent us the recipe for ice cream. And then Kent has sent us the recipe for super meal. And then uh, Clint has sent us the recipe for bean hot pot. And then Willie again, has sent us three letters in one day. Why did the man didn't send it all in a single letter and save on stamps? I don't know. Uh, has sent us lobster bisque. Thank you, Willie. And then, uh, fish taco from Linus. Fucking hell. And then, uh, Pierre is now open seven days a week. The man has finally done it. The grind set. George sent us some stone. Uh, Mayor Lewis wants a truffle oil. Don't ask why. Mayor Lewis. He's got lotion on his dick. He's stroking his dick. What's he doing out there? Very, very concerning. Obviously, we've got to harvest all the freaking crops again. Anyway, Queen of Sauce. Hello, Queen of Sauce. Greetings, it's I, the Queen of Sauce, here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe from my secret cookbook. This week's dish of... Oh, a viewer from Pelican Town. I was going to say, that's an old recipe. A viewer from Pelican Town. That's me. Wrote to me recently. Her name is Haley. She wrote, I tried a pink cake with... Last time I was in Zuzu City and I fell in love with it. Can you share the recipe and you never guess the secret ingredient? Melon. We learn how to cook pink cake. Mmm. My favorite. Right, okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to dash to the Traveler Merchant. Again, I think it's probably a bit pointless, but there are a few things I actually want to look for this time. So, big comment here from Ribbon Quest in the comment section yesterday, who has given Grigner a bit of a shopping list to prepare for for when we go to Ginger Island, which we'll be doing soon, of course. Um, apparently, the new uh, one of the new NPCs on Ginger Island likes uh, spice berries. These orange berries, of which we have one in our backpack. Oh, the hiccups, good God. Um, so, we'll, we'll pr probably do a quick lap. Keep an eye out for those. Uh, do you want any of this... Five rare seeds. We don't really need it. Now we can just grind stuff up. Let's go and have a look for spice berries quickly. Um, so I'll keep an eye out for those and we'll, we'll save them. I'm sure I probably have some in the in the crops chest or the fries chest. I'm sure I've quick stacked a shitload somewhere. So we'll be able to take those with us over there. There's one already. Wow. Oh, <laughs> what a great day. Oh, God, I've got to befriend more people. I'm not cut out for this. I hate people. Right, what else is there? Uh, so Ribbon Quest sent uh, lots of lots of points in a big message here. Um, there's a door at the back of Pierre's kitchen. Is there now? I didn't know there was a door at the back of Pierre's kitchen. What does that do for us? Um, go through to unlock a few items that can towards shipping progression. Okay. Hello. How are you doing? I'm nervous. No. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. You'll be fine. Um, in the profession mod, there's a checkbox. There's, there's a checkbox, apparently. A checkbox for... Ugh. A checkbox for seaweed is junk. Uncheck that and your crab pot should collect them. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. It's also market day. Well, guess what we're selling? Not that hammer. We're going to sell uh, pale ale. Emily? Sell Grigna's pale ale. She's in charge of Grigna's market store. There you go. Um, what's this? Willie wants a fish. Let's go and... Oh. It's not open yet. That's fine. Um, I'll, I'll go through the other stuff quickly. So, uncheck the seaweed is junk. 
in the uh, professions mod. Now, interesting, I've actually removed a mod. I've removed two, actually. I've removed a farming um, industry mod. I can't remember. Advanced farming, that's what it's called. Just because it's, I'm probably not going to touch it at this point. It adds just more, like, machinery and shit. So I thought we'd get rid of that. Because um, it's got, like, shitloads more recipes to it. It'll just add unnecessarily to the game. Like, we're just going to go to machines for the purpose of completion, which seems a bit boring. Um, I've also removed the fishing overhaul mod at the suggestion of a couple of people. Um, the Esperoba 3 and also Vengeance both said, uh, remove the mod because it might be affecting uh, Ginger Island, um, and not to mention it might also be affecting some of the stuff that we're trying to catch anyway, right? Because we're so good, so um, ignore that mod. Uh, so, what am I looking for here? I'm looking for uh, the Professions mod. What the hell is it called? Professions Overhaul? Uh, prof prof better Professions? Something like that? Some sort of Professions? Some sort of prof uh, prof Professions icon redone? Oh, for God's sake. What the hell is the name of the mod? I might go look it up. Where? What the fuck? Ah, Walk of Life. There you go. Um, right. So, profession settings. We want to disable or enable. See what? Ah, see what is junk. There you go. Perfect. Thank you. Great advice. It's good to be as. Uh, along with that, Ribbon Quest has also said, uh, automation won't be stopping the crab pot algae from counting towards fishing. On automate some for a few days. Uh, there's rivers on Ginger Island, so you can set there. We'll take a few crab pots with us then, just in case there's anything, you know, unique. Um, and then finally, have garlic seeds, melon seeds, and wheat for an island quest. Having a good time, Pierre. Wait, are we actually selling this? Do I need to stock it? Maybe people aren't up for buying a pale ale at nine in the morning. Uh, do I need to do that? Oh. Do I need to manually stock it while I'm here? That's annoying. Right, anyway. Um, oh, so Pierre doesn't come here in, in market time. That's very bizarre. How much was the backpack? A million. Honestly, we, we haven't really filled up the, the other backpacks. I'm not that bothered. There's a door in Pierre's... Oh, so there is. What the hell is this? Hello. He's got greenhouse. Oh. Caroline. Hello, friend. How are you doing? Oh. Good morning, Gregor. No, I'm glad you came in. I, I'll be honest, these people are far more forgiving than I would be. If some fucking dude walked into my, 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 my greenhouse, I'd be livid. This is my private sunroom. Oh, I suppose it's more of a conservatory, isn't it? What do you think? It's beautiful, like you, madam. Thank you. I've worked very hard to make it this way. You see, this, this is my sanctuary, a place where I can always find peace, away from fucking Pierre, no doubt. It's a perfect place to drink my homegrown tea. Here, let's have a cup. Ooh. She's gonna give us something. What sort of homegrown tea are you talking about? Well, I mean, we know Pierre has a stash. What's going on with this one, huh? This is what Emily drank before she did that weird ritual. I love to come in here for a fresh cup of tea every day. It's my little ritual. Speaking of ritual, uh, let me try to explain. Okay. Oh my god. What is happening here? Ma Madam's outside the city of brass. When I'm alone with relaxing tea. Mm -hmm. My mind is empty and free to wander. My mind is empty until I've had tea. So an opposite effect. Who knows what might appear. Eldritch Grandpa. What the fucking hell is that? Is Concerned Ape okay? Are you... Someone should check on Concerned Ape. What have you been taking? I hope that makes sense. Oh, yeah. Life can be pretty hectic, so having a hobby like this is nice. Yeah, I love to imagine little tailed men jumping out of my tea. Feel free to come here anytime and relax. Yeah, that's a bit weird, actually. <laughs> 2 a.m. pounding on the front door. Caroline, I'm here to relax. Somebody said we should unlock some items. Um... Maybe, maybe it unlocks the tea, the, like the tea recipe. Or maybe Caroline will, will email us tomorrow. That might be it. I'm not sure. Um, sure, maybe that's it. She'll give us tea leaves or teach us a recipe or t something like that, I'm sure. Anyway, uh, perfect. I would love to buy some bloody garlic seeds from Pierre, but the man's pissed off. Boomerian. What a guy. You guys want to buy some more uh, pale ale, eh? Emily, are you going to restock this? Or am I going to have to sack you? This is pathetic, it's a pathetic display. No, don't drink the pale ale. I could gift everybody a pale ale. Everybody likes pale ale, right? Who do I need to gift? Oh, I should really save the gifts. For, I can't just be giving people shit these days. I need to give them like actual good stuff. Right, let's see. Who, do, who have we got? So we need to make friends with uh, Robin. Is Robin here? That's Penny. I don't think Robin's here, is she? 
Uh, she might be in her house, so we could dash up there. Can I actually give gifts now? Oh, it's reset. Fantastic. Um, we'll go see Robin quickly then. Yeah, she's home. Let's dash up. No, oh, I'm sorry, Boom Baron. I'm sure an Iridium Diamond is enough just to... That'll be enough to win her over, right? Let's get this for the very vital foraging XP, my god. Lord above. We're never gonna get that maxed out, are we? <laughs> Not with my terrible forest placement. Hopefully Ginger Island is full of trees for Grigna to go and annihilate. Here you are. Good diamond for you, Robin, my good friend. Boom. Thanks, this is really nice. 9 out of 10. Oh, fuck. Not, not enough. I should have got her a gift that she actually likes. Close, but not quite. Oh, we got to talk to her as well. Ah, uh, I knew it from the moment you stepped off that bus, Grigny. You were destined to be a town hero. Let's have a chat with Maru. Hello. Someday I'm going to be a world-class inventor. Yes, you are. Let's have a chat with Demetrius, too. <laughs> I think it was Falcon Alara said in the comments you should have uh, given Demetrius a tomato for his birthday and said, here, a fruit. That would have been very good. But I messed up. You know, messed up big. Right, let's have a look. What else we got going on here? Oh, we're almost friends with Robin. Like a couple more gifts will be good. Linus, Clint, Jody, Morbius. Oh, Sebastian as well. I forgot about you. Um, you in here? Sebastian's not here. The one time he's not being a basement dweller. It's the one time I go into his basement. Oh my god, it's Linus! Linus, what are you doing? What's he up to there? Has he lost something? Just shaking the bushes for a laugh. Oh. Yeep! It's okay, it's just Linus. Oh, it's Linus, right? Are you hungry? I can make you some lunch. How about some leftover cave carrot stew? That's very nice of you, but no thanks. I've had great luck foraging today. Oh, good news. Okay. That's nice to hear, Linus. Quickly, you look like you have something to say. I'm just pleased that... Linus is doing well, or we can invite Linus to live on the farm with us. Um, we could. I, I think he'd probably turn us down. He's a man of nature. I don't think he'd say, I don't think he'd agree with it. Thanks, Greg. Now you have me worried there. I thought you were going to ask me to move on to the farm with you, Wink. You know, I consider you my closest friend in the valley. You've never tried to fix me. You respect my way of life, even if you don't understand it. Ah, I really appreciate that. See? Grigna was the good guy for once. Can you smell that? That it's the smell of Milon's sweet juniper berry. Ah, <laughs> oh, what a sweetheart. Thank you. Thank you, I try. Oh, you meant Linus. Oh fuck you too. Where is Linus? Linus! I'm here to give you a diamond so we become friends. <laughs> uh, where is he? Ah, uh, he's down by the river. Do you think the dwarf would prefer a diamond? Or like void matter? What is it called again? Void essence. Yeah. Diamond. Nice. Best friends with Linus. Easy. Easy XP. Right, let's... Oh, what's up here? Dwarf Stardew. Oh, hang on. I think I've got the look up anything mod now. I press F1. Oh, yes. There you go. Hey. I didn't have it. I thought I had it at the start, but I've, I've never had it installed. Um, what do you like? Loves. Uh, Amethyst, Aquamarine, Emerald, Golden Pumpkin, Jade, Omnigeode, Prismatic Shard, Rabbit's Foot, Ruby, Topaz, Lemon Stone, Magic Rock Candy, Pearl... Basically, all the frigging things I haven't bought with me. I'm just going to give him that. Iridium Diamond's still got to count for something, right? So I'll, I'll make sure I bring him more stuff. Boom Baron, come here. I'll make sure I bring him more stuff later on. Just bring some generic gems out, you know? Right, uh, let's go see Morbius fast. Because I know he's going to be very much my kind of forgotten guy otherwise. I hope Krobus likes the, the, the void. I forgot to befriend anybody here. Actually, we could just speak to everybody. Hello! Uh, imagine having a patience. Oh, fuck. Harvey killed a man. Again, he's, he keeps telling us about that, doesn't he? It's tragic. Maybe we'll be neighbors someday. I think we both have similar weird tastes. It's a dream come true. You can't be begin to imagine how much stress Jojo Mart was causing me. You're welcome. Well, to be fair, you did clap his cheeks. That's such a nice gift. Thank you. There you go. That's Harvey sorted out. Fantastic. All right, anyone else here that I've got to sort out? Um, Robin... Clint, Jody. Is Jody here? Where's Jody? Oh, it's Pam. Legendary. Um, where the fuck's Jody gone? Mm, Jody? She's right there. Oh, she's hiding in a bush. Good Christ, please don't give me any more diamonds. There you go. Oh, you're such a sweetheart. I really love this. You're welcome. I am a sweetheart, aren't I? Where's Clint? Clint's selling like... Clint's selling shit, but he's also not here. Clint, where are you, big man? Uh... Oh, he's got like uh He's just set the stall up and he's like trust in the neighborhood. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shit in his box. 
That'll teach him a lesson about trust. Like, I trust you to give me a good deal and not rip me off on all this copper. Clint, how's that for fucking trust, big man? You like diamonds? What does he like? Bean hot pot, diamond. He also is a weirdo that likes random shit. Yeah. This is a fun gift, thanks. You're welcome. You're welcome. Right, how are we doing then? Let's have a little look through here. Clint, Joey, Dunn, Morbius, Vincent, Kent, George. <sighs> Man. I should start bringing out specialist gifts instead of just any old crap. Right, Vincent, what about you? We're good friends with Alex, right? Oops, put that cask away. <laughs> ah! What do you mean my shoes are dirty? You're dirty. Mm. Um, best friends with you, right? I think all the, all the bachelors and bachelorettes. Oh, no. Hang on. Do you like diamonds, fella? There you go. Enjoy. Close enough. We're almost done with you as well. Uh, Sebastian. 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 Darkness for you. Darkness for you. Boom. Thanks. Oh, fuck off, man. Frozen tear. They all like prismatic shard and rabbit's foot. Really, I should just bring those with me. I keep not doing it, and I just should, shouldn't I? Hi there, mister. Hello, tiny child. Would you like a diamond? He likes grapes. I got grapes. Is it an iridium grape? This kid is going to be on top of the fucking moon. There you go. 8 out of 10. This is terrific. You're welcome, fella. What's all this? This is art. Mysterium. The little brave sapling. Nice. Uh, right, okay. <laughs> I can't believe we've gone full on, like, social mode now. I hate it. Uh, Morbius, fine. Kent, George, Krobus, Haley, Penny. Oh my god, there's so many I've missed. Haley and Penny, they're, they're like big ones too. Haley, you home? No, this is the wrong house, sorry. <laughs> Haley, what do you mean Haley's not here? What do you mean I'm scaring the children? This is the wrong house. Haley's not home. Oh god, I hate tracking these fucking people down. Uh, Jazz, where is everyone? Oh my god, they are all in the saloon. 20 past one on a Sunday? What is it, a Weatherspoons? Oh my god. Hello. How are you all doing? Actually, this is this is a good this is a good excuse to get everybody's opinions up, huh? Caroline, nice to meet you. I don't like that they're all smashed together like this. It's freaking me out. Really horrible. Mayor Lewis! Who? Great. Uh, Kent, what do you like? Have I got anything for you? No. Oh, fuck. Kent, what do you like? He likes diamonds as well. You're a luck fella. Bang. Diamond for you. 8 out of 10. How have I got faster friendship with Kent than basically anyone else? That's actually amazing. Um, Bean Hot Pot Sweet Pea. I'm just going to give them all flowers. You've already given Harvey a gift. I want to give it to Haley though. Shit. Pam's already smashed. It's 1.40 on a Sunday. I can't even get to Gus. That's so weird. I wonder what mod is causing them to all stack up like that. Because I, th I thought it was where I'd remove Stardew Valley Expander, but evidently not. Because that's just like... Can I talk to you? No? Shit. Um, obviously not. Because that's a different mod entirely. Evelyn already loves me. Of course she does. Of course she does. Ken! Did I already get... I bought a pale ale from Grigno. Looks nice. Um, did, I did I give him... I give him a gift. Oh my god, I can't I can't keep track of all these fucking people. They all just blend together. Uh Kent, 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 Kent. Yes, gifted. Nice. George, Haley, Penny, Elliot. Sadly. George, Haley, Penny, 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 Penny. I've got what you want. And what you want is a sweet pea. Boom. Eat the sweet pea. No, that's clearly not what I meant. What's what do you mean? What? Have I? Oh fuck. This is horrible. I can't keep up with this shit. Krobus Haley. Okay. Krobus Haley. Krobus Haley. Haley. Where the fuck's Haley? Haley's not here. How did she slip past me? Oh my god, she slipped right past me. Haley. Haley, what do you like? You like sweet peas? Sweet, sweet peas, she does, she does, she does. Yeah. Nice. For me, thank you. Yeah, seven out of eight, great. And then Krobus, I'm almost entirely certain, likes uh, the, the darkness. Not the band, the concept. The, the, what is it called? Void Essence, that's correct. Pierre was inside of Kent, didn't like that. Give me that algae. Does that count as having caught it, do you think? Oh, I hope so. Because we got it in a crab pot. I don't know if it will still count, but we'll check the progression later. There you go. And you know what? I'll take a couple of those with us to Ginger Island. What do you like? Sweet pea. Oh, you actually really don't like the darkness? Oh. Neutral gift. Void essence. Oh, for fuck's sake, man. Take the fucking flower. You're welcome. I actually quite like you, Krobus. Right. 
Now, if we go into the town center, it's going to be Haley Art. Uh, sorry, not Haley. Lego. Leah's Art Convention. What the hell is that man? Who's that man there? Quickly, you're here. Okay, I guess I better introduce my pieces. Wish me luck. Oh my god, the market stores are still set up. It's going to break everything. Who's that? That guy over there looks like me in real life. Except he's got brown eyes and I've got I've got blue. We've got very similar haircuts right now, though. Holy shit. Thanks for coming to my art show. You're welcome, Leah. Thanks for setting up in the middle of my stand, though. Uh, as some of you know, I came to this town because I wanted to draw inspiration from its beautiful surroundings. And then Grignit turned up and finally found my inspiration. This place really feels like home now. Okay, I'm going to introduce my sculptures. Uh, she drew straight up on my market stall. I haven't named this one yet. She started out as an exercise in human anatomy, but I ended up seeing her through to completion. <laughs> That's the excuse they all use. Her expression is intentionally unclear. Is she embarrassed, amused, pained? I'll leave you to decide. She got an underbite. She looks like she's from Bob's Burgers. I've never seen that, but I have seen the characters. This character's called... Oh, sorry, this one's called Post-Dimensional Null Space. It represents the boundary of human imagination. The shape and color came to me vividly when I was in a trance state. You and fucking Caroline and Emily have been... Oh, you've been... You've been doing some stuff. Are you going to introduce your friend? I've been calling this one Eggheads. I wanted to create an animatronic human humanoid statue to toy with the viewer's ability to properly attribute person to a physical entity. Listen, I've got to be real with you. That's fucked up. The last one is called Wood Sculpture 3. It's a celebration of my favorite sculpting material. The wood. <laughs> <laughs> That's messed up. She's got like a genuine talent for mechanical engineering. And she's making all this mediocre shit. And then she's made like full on Disney ass level people over there. Oh, one last thing. I'd like to say thanks to my special friend, Grigner. He gave me the idea for the show and the courage to go through with it. I know that sounds cheesy, but it's true. I'm proud of you, Leah. Events like this really breathe life into our little town. I love your art. Post-dimensional null space is my favorite. And also, uh, if you go online now and go to uh, www.stardewlia.com, you can buy uh, Stardew NFTs made when she was really pushing the boundaries of human imagination. And I mean pushing the boundaries very literally. Thanks for doing this. Who's the angry man? Thanks, everyone. That's going to be a Rex, isn't it? Now let's start the uh, let's start the bidding on these wonderful art pieces. A marvelous addition to your home. Do I hear five thousand for the pink one? I mean, I'd have bought it for that. He's just like hanging around. I said that's a Chekhov's gun. This is a Chekhov's gun. What was he doing there? Why was he doing there? What are all the villagers doing? What's going on there? Horrifying. Now we've gifted everybody, right? Besides Morbius, uh, roughly, roughly, more or less. Um, Morbiusy. Good. Can't believe how fast we became friends with... Gl oh, George. Fucking George. Right, go on then. There he is. You old coot. What do you want? Uh, bean hot pot. That's a gift from my... My wife. My wife, and I'm gonna gift it to George right in front of her. Thanks. She's like, Greg, now I know that you hate going around giving gifts to people arbitrarily, but you've got to make friends with everybody for total completion. And Greg says, what did he say? And she says, nothing. I made this. Can you please give it to George? Uh, right. So it's just like the wizard. Oh, fucking Elliot as well. Oh, God, there's so many people. Could you imagine doing this shit with Stardew Valley Expanded? Honestly, I would lose my mind. Elliot's off being Jesus Christ, so I can't do anything about that one. Unless I can borrow Willie's boat. That's not going to happen. All right, who am I looking for? Wizard. That's right. Go, Boonbarian. It's only 3.40 p.m. The day is young. We've got plenty to do. We'll go see Willie next. Hopefully he doesn't, like, lock up at 4 p.m. That would suck. Morbius. I've come to bargain. Boom. 8 out of 10. Very nice. And then we can do the same route tomorrow, and then we're done for the week. So that's good. You've just got to, some tasks, you've just got to say fuck it and just get it all done at once. You know, you've just got to bite the bullet. Like, for example, today when I moved every single one of my possessions that I own in boxes. <laughs> by the way, have I mentioned that? Uh, that have been in boxes for the last six months now. I moved them down into uh, the spare bedroom. Because, uh, quite frankly, it was thoroughly depressing walking into my living room every day and uh, sitting them amongst boxes. And then there were boxes in the kitchen and in my office and in the bedroom. So I've decided, fuck it. 
And we've sacrificed a bedroom to fill with boxes. Well, we've got the seaweed. I guess I'll leave that one set up and then we'll, 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 we'll take the others to Ginger Island. Oh, Willie. Are we good friends? We're best friends. Hey, it's my skipper, Grigner. Thank you. What's out here then? Oh my god. This machine could be repaired with five battery packs. Oh, is that an iridium anchor? Five iridium bars. Let me write this down. Five battery pack. Five iridium bar. And then I presume we need hardwood for the deck. The hull could be repaired with 200 pieces of hardwood. 200 hardwood. My god, it's like going to Crandor Isle. To fight Elvark. You remember that? Christmas Day 2002. Little known game called RuneScape. You get Dragon Slayer. You remember that? What a time to be alive. Now it's shit. As with most games. Absolutely, uh... Well, I mean, it was never very good, was it? <laughs> it was an idle game. Let's be honest. It, okay, it was just an idle game. I was gonna try and quantify that, but no. No, we all know what it was. It was an idle game before idle games were really a thing. And now it's been smothered by the... Long, cold finger of monetization. Oh my god, we've got to mow the fields. Shit. Totally forgot about that one. We'll head over to this side first and do a quick tour. You know what? I've decided I really fucking hate hot pop, hot, hot pop, pop peppers. So I'm just going to annihilate this area. Uh, and here's what I think. You can take that pepper and uh, sell it. You can sell it. Get rid of it. I'm not interested. What the hell is Garfield doing? Why is he so weird? What the hell is this? Bruh. What the fuck is this? Okay. <laughs> I don't know what that is, and I'm a well, like a like a little bit scared. Foraging XP? Nothing. Are you kidding me? Fiber starters don't get foraging XP. These will, though. Hey. Hey, there you go. Right, fuck all this off. Get out of my life. Summer Spangle, get out of here. I'm done with you. Oh, why didn't I just get on the tractor? What's wrong with me? That's weird. You're a weird man. What the hell was that? It was like a friggin' alien. Do I really want all this shit? Not really. I mean, I'll keep it for now, but... Like right, the coffee's fine. I'm happy to keep the coffee. No, I don't want. I don't want any of it. I think we're not going to expand the farm over here until we can get the Junimo huts, which I, I'll be honest with you, I really do not remember how to get. I'm not interested. It, it's just like so much for so little. You know, we've got so much still to do in the game, uh, and and you know a lot of this is for profit. I mean, the coffee being sure has has a benefit. We can just plant more coffee if we need. We'll just like build a like a greenhouse or some shit, and everything will be fine. Can I do like? You can't charge up the pickaxe. Of course you can't charge up the pickaxe, you moron. <laughs> what, what benefit would you get from that? Do like a big swing. That'd be good. All right, let's get all this cleared out. We've got a lot of stuff to do on Ginger Island. We can't be pissing around uh, harvesting some corn that we really just do not need, you know? There's new coves on the horizon. New lands to see. None of which involve single bloody plants of corn. Get out of here. So the prismatic sprinklers, of course, we can place a bit more efficiently now. So I'll get them all placed down. Um, we'll get the Junimo huts working in tandem with that. And then when they're all placed down, then we can re-enable the effect, the extra effects of the prismatic uh, sprinklers to um, have that scarecrow built in. Obviously, I had to disable that because it made it a real pain in the ass to try and place them because the overlay wasn't, wasn't working correctly. I feel better about this already. We could always turn this area into something nice for aesthetics, like grow some flower gardens, like seasonal flowers. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Not that some of you will appreciate it. Why is he not coming for pure profit? <laughs> Says Jeff Bezos over there. Jo jo Joe Bezos. Joe. There's got to be a pun there somewhere. No, there's really not. <laughs> I was like, can I, can I say like Amazon, 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 Joe, Amazon Mart, and it's just, it's just not gonna fucking work. We don't need these fruit trees anymore, so let's knock those down. We'll replant them in the areas they're supposed to be planted, rather than me just banging them wherever. Do we get any XP for that? No. Um, we'll trim this back too. There you go. 
We could plant all the ancient fruit. I don't think I... Do I want to? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to I'm gonna do something really, really rude. We're going to get rid of all these hops. And I think I'm going to plant, like, the deluxe quality thing. Actually, given that it's a greenhouse, would the speed stuff be better? Get more harvest more frequently? Because it'll grow all year round. I don't know. Because I suppose our, our farming skill and our professions and whatnot... Along with the ability to, like, put stuff in barrels that, that makes it a higher a higher quality of aging, too. I bet it would be better just to go for speed growth for all of it, wouldn't it? And just go nuts on the ancient fruit. I might do that. We might do that. We might have a complete ancient fruit greenhouse. But it is not that day. We've got more hops to harvest. We haven't even sold the regular harvest yet. It's been busy. It's been so busy today. Gifts and then layers of things. I wonder who that guy was. He did look a little bit like me. Look, it, looked, it looked like me just in pixel form. It's very strange. Very peculiar. I'm not happy about that. He didn't have my incredible sense of fashion, but I'll let him off in the rest of it. I have Sailor Moon uh, Vans. And that's the height of fashion. I don't care what you think. I didn't even know they existed. Then one of my friends was like, well, I really want to buy these, but... Uh... He had stupid reasoning. Because I really want to buy them, but they're pink. And I'm like, who fucking cares? They have, have really cool shoes. So I bought the shoes. Vans had like a 60% off sale. I was like, hell yeah, I want the pink shoes. And that's why I'm the height of fashion. And that's why all of you watching at home, you've got no clue. Absolutely no clue. I also have fish slippers, which I, I'm not going to claim as the height of fashion. I might have thrown them away because they were really fucking horrible. I bought them because they were kind of those, you know, those gag gift fish slippers. Uh, they were really horrible to look at and they were also really horrible to wear. So I think I threw them away because it's like they were just they were just sat in a cupboard not doing anything. Where's all my... Ah, oh, we've got to say iridium quality hops then. <laughs> Turns out we've got uh, shitloads of them around the bin there. Get out. Get out of my life. Uh, Some of a spangle. Get out of here. I was going to say, do we need that for a recipe? Then it occurred to me, that's a, that's a flower. My god, that's a flower. Oh, apparently we need a bit more hay too. Shit, we'll have to take the tractor for a quick tour in a second. Right, what have we got in here? Oh, pale ale. And some wines. Uh, you're out of hops. Well, take these. No, that's fiber. Zion, fiber. Take that. Uh, silver? Silver hops? Silver hops. What the fuck's going on? Where am I? Ah, oh. 17 silver hops. No, I must have accidentally put them in the other chest. That doesn't make sense. I'm still concerned about that strange capsule. Will that hatch into an alien? Or is that some eldritch grandpa shit? What it makes you think. You can stay there, Tractor. I hate you. I you should really check on the animals, shouldn't I? I've ignored them for days on end. Come on, Boon Baron. You don't have any mail. Uh, yeah, I don't really give a shit about that. I'm talking to my bear. Maybe he moonlights as a postman. Well, I suppose it would be daylights as a postman. You can't really moonlight as a postman. People don't appreciate receiving post at, like, midnight. I wouldn't care. But that's because I'm reasonable. We've got truffle for Mayor Lewis. I think the auto grabber is working for truffles now, because I don't think I've picked up a truffle in days, but we've got, like, ten truffle oil. Oh, Mayor Lewis. I've got truffle oil on my dick. I'm stroking my dick. <laughs> got microplastic. We've got uh, polystyrene. We've got polythene, and then we have oil. It's a bit more on the nose. Polyurethane, that's a good one. Uh, let's take uh, let's take that rabbit's foot. Now, obviously, I'm going to keep that as a gift. I should just I should just get more rabbits. I should go to Marnie and buy more fucking rabbits. It's a bit late now, given that we're almost done befriending everybody, but that would have been a good idea. You know, 50 or 60 episodes back, that would have been a fantastic plan. Right, so let's sell some... Oh, no. Did I have to go and take all the shit that... Fuck off! They got this backpack. Did I have to go and sell all the stuff that... Didn't sell manually. Do I have to go to the marketplace and go, like, fish that out? I'm going to sell the truffle and I'm going to take one back. Um, I can sell quick stack all of this because we do want to keep, like, a fair amount. Sell the rainbow shell. I don't really give a shit about that. Hmm. Very strange. Right. Let's get all this shit done. Uh, oh, there's still a lot left over. Wowie. We've got to get this bottom row of this inventory sorted before it actually takes years off my life. There you go. There you go. Right. Are we good? Perfect. Right. Okay, sort out is coming through in the fridge. Uh, nothing. None of this is edible. Good try. 10 out of 10. 
Come on, Boomerang. Work is not done yet. We're gonna be. This is gonna be uh, the rare Grigna day. Now that he's semi-retired, where he pushes it all the way through to 2 a.m. Right, what have we got in here? I don't care if there's no equipment in there. Give me the pale ale. My god. Now, interestingly, there was another comment. Uh, let me find you, because I think you were just... Um, uh, where did you say? Where did you say? Uh... I can't find... Ah, Himdo1, there you go. The Chromium Furnace does not double the output of pulverized ore, only regular ore. So, there's no point having the ore, uh, these pulverizers running ever. Because it's less efficient. Oh, I found the other kiln. I was well aware there was a thousand comments on that episode saying, Oh, you really need to get your eyes challenge kiln right there, Ringo. <laughs> and it was all very funny, very hilarious. You're mocking a man who clearly is suffering from some sort of brain degradation. I hope, you, I hope you're all pleased with yourself, because that really is just uh, disgusting. It really is just disgusting behavior. Any more of it, and I'll be sure to forget to shout at you all. Right, let's drop the... <laughs> let's drop the... No, nah, I need that. All right, so I want to take with me, uh, like, different gems, because these people as bitches. You got Frozen Tear for um, San Sebastian. Give me uh, them rubies. No, I need those for eels. Get our topaz. You think they like topaz? Give me the aquamarine. I think they all like the aquamarine. Um, a spare artifact. It's not an artifact, but it could be a copy. What the hell is that doing in there? It could be a copy of... Um, Hmm, I'm trying to think of an album that's, uh, that's a real artifact. I haven't got any off the top of my head. I've used, I've said Limp Biscuit before. I can't say it again, that would be, I wouldn't be right. Though they wouldn't know an artifact if they were hit in the face with it. Which would be, honestly, uh, quite close to the bottom of the list I'd like to see Fred Durst hit in the face with. Let's put that in there. Um, I hope he's not a fan of this. Oh, Fred, look. You've, you've had some bangers in your time, but that time was 20 years ago. Now, it was the early 2000s. We've moved, we've moved on Collector Lewis and Society. He was also one of those weird celebs who had, like, popular music in the early 2000s who started trying to stream on Twitch, and then it went to shit. Like, Snoop Dogg did that, too. And then he had that meme that came out about it where he was like, I don't know what that is. I'm going to stick that in there. Um... Where he was, like, slamming the desk because I think he, like, died in Call of Duty. Fred Durst did a stream... Fred Durst, the lead singer of Limp Bizkit, just to clarify, uh, did a stream where he played, like, golf or some shit, like a golf game, um, and basically just sat silently while he played a golf game on Twitch. <laughs> so what's anyone getting out of this, really? Uh, 420, well, I don't know why people watch my videos, so I won't judge them for watching Fred Durst. I think that's a fair point. Actually, did I save any? Oh, I was going to say, did I save any of the rabbit's feet? But whatever. Anyway, let's um get the... Uh, let's get the battery pack sorted. Five battery pack. Five iridium. 200 hardwood. Good God, that was a lot of a lot of sales. Was that from the marketplace? Maybe. I don't think they all sold. God, I hope I get those back. Maybe Mel Lewis will, will email them to me. Email, except not electronic. What do you old people call that when you send things through the, the post? You never call it mail in the UK. You never call it mail. Oh, we got mail. You never say that. It's very weird. So my sins were placed in the town lost and found. I guess that's it then. I guess that was my uh, alcohol. You don't even call it post. Postman. Not mailman. We've got to visit town today. I'm going to help out in the saloon. Have a good day. Thank you, wife. What's your name again? It was a dwarf's birthday. What did he like? Aquarine, I think, right? Um, oh, pale ale. Wow. Jesus, there's a lot in there. I might have to split the stack out a little bit, because obviously the other one was empty, and that one was rammed full. Right, here we are. Hello. Um, we, st we had 35 visitors, but 65 grumpy visitors. We sold a total of five items. I, I got a fucking question to ask. How the hell did we have a cumulative 100 visitors... When Stardew Valley has a total population of about 15. Pierre and Haley loved it. Abigail and Harvey, they were all about the pale ale. 643. For one pale ale? Shit, maybe we should save the Iridium stuff for market day. 
Uh, Gregna, thanks for stopping by the summer room yesterday. I usually drink tea alone, but it's fun to share with you. I've been closed in trash and had to pray your own tea. There you go. And, uh, Leah, thanks for coming to my show. It's such a success. I sold nearly all my sculptures and everyone was so positive and encouraging. I hope to see you again soon. And finally, Dr. Harvey is mad because we work too hard. He's a boring old man. You're boring, Dr. Harvey. Gregna's about that grind set. You can't spell grind set without green. <laughs> that was terrible. Don't take my advice on anything. Here we are. Don't take the advice of a soon-to-be homeless man on the internet. Okay? That's very... That's a poor place to approach life from. Well, let's get to work then. We've got lots to do. You go see Willy. Gotta get all the stuff from the greenhouse. I wanted to check if we had any more rabbit's feet. I thought maybe I'd put them in the monster chest. The monster drops chest or something like that. And which is more than possible. I hope you're all enjoying the new Real World series. I know not. There's probably not that much crossover. I imagine there's a good amount. But I know there's not a huge amount of crossover between main channel and second channel. I've, I've known a lot of people have said like, Oh, stop watching the main channel because I'm bored of Real World. Totally understandable. Totally understandable. I wish I had the option to give it a break myself sometimes. But unfortunately, if I do that, I then can't pay my rent. Uh, but I did say in the Stardew Valley episode that this new character would be a fan favorite. I did not anticipate, however, uh, the overwhelming sexual desire that would be targeted at what I can only describe as a 2D bug person. A pixelated... 128 by 128 pixel bug lady. It's very concerning. Very concerning. And, quite frankly, I'm not brave enough to stay out on the main channel. They need to touch grass. Well, I say I'm not brave enough. I did start today's episode with a tirade, or yesterday's episode, as you're watching this, right? Um, with a tirade about people being fucking weird. I don't understand it. I don't get it. I don't design the character. Someone's like, oh, this is on the character's life for me. I, I would not even know where to begin with that because I'm not sexually attracted to two-dimensional characters on a computer screen. Now, that might be, I know in 2022, a very brave position to take. But I do not understand it. I could not interpret the necessary details to attempt to bait people in such a way. If they end up that way, fine. Okay, not going to complain. Obviously very good for me if people are enjoying the characters, even if they are enjoying it far more than reasonably they should. And I'm just saying it's probably destructive for your mental health that you are placing such a sexual onus on a uh, two-dimensional bug creature in a colony building video game. As like, do you look at Grigna right now and is that ar uh, arousing for those of you so inclined to Grigna's big muscles? Because I just don't get it. I'm not, I'm not looking at any of these characters in Stardew Valley, unironically, and thinking, wow, you look at that. That's the best thing I've ever seen. So lovely and nice. Mm. I'm ne I've never once thought about any of these characters because they're a collection of pixels. And I'm sorry if I'm being a bit of a killjoy here, uh, but you have not had to read through trying to glean any sort of useful information whatsoever. fucking ever. You have not had to read through, quite frankly, hundreds of messages today, right? About... How much people want to rail a bug girl? So, again, we're, we're, we're both probably... If you are taking umbrage with what I'm saying out loud right now, you're probably operating from a different perspective to myself, and I'm, of course, not operating from the same perspective as you. Try drowning in those comments, okay? Then you will see from my perspective that it is a horrific occasion. The fan art is very impressive, though. I will never, I will never you know, besmirch the fan art. Because it's, uh, you know, incredibly creative, whether it is the more suggestive stuff or not. It's just, you know, obviously an incredible interpretation of... Uh, maybe that's why I like the fan art so much, and I'm so impressed by it, because it is ultimately an interpretation of a 2D character. I'm not trying to take any sort of bizarre, you know, puritanical high ground here. I'm just saying I, I just don't understand it. It just does not pass in my brain what makes a Rimwell character sexy. <laughs> So we've got a load of stuff for the missing bundle just kind of accidentally here. Oh shit, I need loads more hardwood. Oh, well, that's unexpected. Uh, what do we need? Batteries, iridium bar. I don't remember how many iridium bars, so I'm just going to take 400 and hope that's enough. And um, we need more hardwood. We'll have to go to the secret grove. Maybe some of my mahogany trees are grown. 
Someone did say in the tractor settings, you might be able to set it to not cut down um, not fully grown trees. Does that make sense? Did all those words in that order make any sense at all? Ooh, wrong. Not to, to not cut down the trees that are not fully grown. To not cut down juvenile trees. Are any of these grown, though? Because I really need some hardwood. Ooh! Actually, a few of them have grown. Wow. Uh, I mean, to be fair, we still got to prestige, what, like a couple more levels of foraging? We could just wait until the, we get to the last foraging uh, drive and then just chop all those down at once and just go from level 1 to level 10 straight up and be done with it. Wipe it out. We'll go see the dwarf as well before we head to Ginger Island or whatever that involves. Keep an eye out for uh, Spice Berries. We'll go see the wizard first. My guy. What was I doing? Go see the wizard. What was my plan? Go see the wizard. Uh, hardwood, hardwood, hardwood. That's correct. Stay there, Boon Baron. It's far too dangerous for such a, a lovely boy like you. A lovely, sweet, delicate boy like you. It's weird how uh, it's, a, it's a plant that's evolved to grow only a stump. Very bizarre. We can't catch any legendary fish, can we? What the fuck is that? There's something in the, something in the water. Now, we don't have the fishing overhaul mod. That's not, that's not a thing anymore. Oh, we can see what we're catching now that that's gone. Oh, that's interesting. Very good, very nice. So the streak does not matter. It probably will mean that... Oh my god, we actually caught trash. It probably will mean, however... Oh my god, we're actually catching trash. This is great. Uh, it probably will mean, however, that we will get less iridium quality fish. Because, of course, the streaks aren't going to be so high. Uh, I don't even need the treasure. And as a result... They are shit, though. This is what it's like in the base game. Little snapper. Oh, it's cool that we can see what fish we're catching. That's interesting. Bollocks. Oh, I don't, I'm not concerned about the streak. I don't know why I was, I was concerned about that. I want to catch whatever that is. There's something floating in there. It's like a plant. I mean, just like a planter. I'm not entirely sure. Got these carp are everywhere, aren't they? It's like real life. We're carp are everywhere. Like, yeah, but I wouldn't want to catch the planter, though. 8% chance. Good God. What if we, like, drop the bait? Would that work? Uh, hold on. Oh, we, we haven't even got any. Whatever, we'll come back for it. There's 8% chance. We'd be, we'd be there fishing forever. Well, not forever. It wouldn't actually be that much at all. It'd be like 12 times. It's not that, it's not that bad. It's not really that bad at all, is it? Ha ha ha! Green is angry. You won't fight Grigner anymore. Green slimes. He's way... Oh, look. He's gone into, like, Spartan rage. What the hell is he doing? Chill. Calm down. He looks very skinny from the front when he's riding the bear. It's all an illusion. Wizard. Will be us himself. There you go, fella. Hey, Al-10. All right. Dickhead. Ah, oh, I've seen many things about your future, young Grigner. If I was to tell you them, there could be grave consequences. Like you might play the lottery and change the future. Your parents might disappear. That would be crazy. Um, what are we doing? We're going to see Willy. I don't think we've got enough hardwood though, right? 97. Oh, bollocks. Uh, I could cut down the mahogany trees. I mean, what do you tap mahogany trees for? I don't think you tap mahogany trees for anything. What, like mahogany seeds? That doesn't sound right. I don't know enough about botany to debate that. But it certainly doesn't seem correct. Let me just go see the dwarf. It's his birthday. Uh, what do you tap them for? Probably nothing. I bet I could chop these down. Fuck them. I'll look it up. Um, yeah, maple syrup, pine tar. That makes sense. Oak resin. That all makes sense. But then the maple... the, the, the these, these guys don't drop anything, right? Well, in that case, I will take the hardwood. We can always replant them, right? So it doesn't really matter that much. I can replant them right now, just in case, but... All right, how are we looking? 196. You... cannot do this to me. I'm Grigna Grignison. Scourge of Eldritch Grandpa. He hasn't been scourged yet. Scourge of Joe Jamar, although technically that fight was Pierre. Scourge of the community's wants and needs. Is there a mahogany tree that has grown? 
Not a single bloody mahogany tree. Oh, shit. Are you kidding? We're going to be like one away. Let's go see the dwarf. I love dwarf. Uh, quarry, sure. And then take me to the mines. Dwarf! I've got a birthday aquamarine for you. He did like aquamarine. Oh, he does like aquamarine. Of course you do. I could. If it's just a, a light gift of iridium quality, it doesn't matter whether it's a rabbit foot or a prismatic shard or whatever. Bloody hell, 7 out of 10 immediately. Jesus Christ, that was a jump. Turns out people like it when you gift them things for their birthday. That's crazy. Let's go uh, back to town. Nope. Let's go uh, to... Oh, where else can I get hardwood? Does Robin sell it? Let's go back to the mines. I wonder if she'll just sell us some. Otherwise, we've got to wait for hardwood to regrow before we can... Because I used it all up, didn't I? To make um something, I'm sure. Right, hang on. Is there anyone else we want to gift anything to today? Robin? Okay, we're going to see Robin anyway. Um, Jody, Clint, Vincent, Kent, George, Sam, Dwarf, Haley, Krobus, Penny. Then we're pretty much done. There's Elliot and Sandy. I'm glad Elliot's at the bottom of my list. I don't like Clint, sure. But I think Elliot might be worse. Clint, Clint like, wronged us. Elliot's just, like, naturally a horrible man. I think he's done anything wrong. I just don't like him. He's just a, a, real, a real stinker. He's a real stinky fella. Uh, well, we've got to give a gift to Robin, right? It's a wonderful substance. It is, isn't it? Uh, speaking of which, do you like anything in my pocket? You like goat's cheese? Wow, good news. I have an Iridium ghost cheese with your name on it, my friend. Boom, 10 out of 10. Eat the ghost cheese. Nope. Nope. Gift it to Robin. Gift it to Robin. Gift it to fucking Robin. There you go. Best friends with Robin. Nice. Okay. And then we get mates rates. A little bit of a discount. Uh, I would like to... Community upgrade. Would you like to build Pama House? Yes, I would. What else? Chop. Wood. Hardwood. 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 Globe. Calendar. Workbench. Chipper. Hardwood. Oh. Why have you got to be like this? Why have you got to be like this? Why would you got to be like this? Oh, fuck it. Just build Pan the house. Let's, I'll buy the wood. Let's build... I don't need to buy the wood. That's ridiculous, of course. But... 950 wood. Fuck me. Okay. It's a bloody racket they're running here. Oh! No! Not you! Robin, no! Don't be like Clint! I can never forgive her. Mate traits and she rips me off. You're lucky I've got millions right now, otherwise I'd be fucking pissed. I am, but like not that much. Clint Clint kicked us when we were down. Robin's like kicked us when we're up. <laughs> probably pay extra for that. That's very generous of you. Oh, but maybe Pam doesn't want the handout. <sighs> we considered her feelings. She might be kind of upset that Someone's just built her a house. I mean, she is my best friend and she is the realist, but... Oh, I don't know about it. I don't know what I'm thinking about that. I feel like it's a bit weird. There you go, Penny. Enjoy. Where's the missing bundle, then? Uh, Probably where old Joja Mart fell down. Oh, Mayor Lewis is in here. Hello, Mayor Lewis. I got in top of mine. That's good. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Evelyn's here too. Oh, they all come up to the community center. Actually, that's quite nice. There's not really, in my opinion, enough citizens to warrant a community center so massive. So I do also kind of understand why. Oh, Harvey. Are we friends with Harvey? Who the hell are we not friends with? Hang on. Um, right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Right, it's good, it's good. More moves. Yeah, Jody, Clint, Vincent. They're on my list. Jody, Clint, Vincent. Jody, Clint, Vincent. I hate not having the bear or a speed boost. This is horrible. Jody, Clint, Vincent. Jody and Vincent might be nearby one another. Hold on, let's pull that map open. Jody. Jody's there. Home of Jody, Kent, and Sam. Who's Vincent then? Well, I thought Vincent was their. their kid. Is it not? Whose man's is that? Who's. Is this your child? Don't know if I'll ever get used to being back home. Oh, uh, what if I give you the foot of a rabbit? How about that, big man? I know how much you love these. Oh, my mum used to give me this when I was a boy. It brings back wonderful memories of those all those rabbits we skinned. Brutal. Absolutely brutal. Jody! Let me give it for you. Actually, what do you like? What have I got? Prismatic shard. For God's sake. There. You're such a sweetheart. I love this. Thank you. Don't tell your husband. Right, let's go see... Oh! 
No. Oh, God, he's cornering me. No, oh, Grigman could take him. Oh, piss off. What is it, hereditary? Grigman could take him. There's no question. Grigman could take everybody in this town. Then again, that is kind of the aim of the game, right? Uh, Vincent is under the, the mass of people, so that's going to make it very difficult to gift him. For God's sake. I need to talk to the child. Oh, Jesus. So we got a special, we got a special reward. Okay, Gus's famous omelette. Or oh, Robin wants 80 hardwood. Well, I got a problem with you there. Um, I got the urge to make a two dozen eggs for Gus. Well, I've been turning it all into bloody mayonnaise, though. Oh, I don't think I can fulfill that. Two dozen eggs is a lot. Man's out here buying 24 eggs. That's a lot of eggs. And to think there's an egg shortage in the UK right now, apparently. I've been told about this. Every time I've gone to the shop, I've seen a million eggs. But apparently there's an egg shortage in the UK. Don't believe the media. The media's lying to you people. Wake up. It's obviously not true. You should go out and eat more eggs because the government are trying to take it away from you. Think about that one. We should all do it. We should all go out and buy as many eggs as possible. Don't be that irresponsible. That's a joke. It's a joke. If you don't eat it, don't buy it. Unless you're Gus making an irresponsibly large omelette. Where's Elliot? Oh my god, is he fucked off again? There's no wonder I can't make friends with this penis when he's off gallivanting around on the ocean. I hope you sink. This is why we need Willie's boat. I'm gonna have to tackle him. Quickly gets armbands. Forget about Boo and Barry, I'm gonna get the hippocamp instead. Alright, so we can't talk to him because he's subsumed by those other people as well. Shit. It was so annoying. Clint. Clint's probably locked his door at this point. Who else have we got? Sam, 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 and George. Here. Yeah. We've got Prismatic Shard. Obviously, that's gonna work. What do you like? Prismatic Shard. Fuck me. <laughs> it's expensive trying to be everyone's friend. So don't, don't do it. Ah, oh, there you go. Eight out of eight. Done. Right. Old man George. We're getting there, though. This is like big completion. They're becoming friends with everybody. Massive. Because then we've only got to worry about the twats on Ginger Island. Don't tell them I said that. <laughs> I don't need any more enemies. Man, I like Pams. Oh, great. The tingling stops. Yeah, because I saw George. Yeah, I just can't reach it. If only I could get it from this infernal chair. Oh, poor George. Gregney, you shouldn't just go over there and reach it for him. He didn't ask you for that help. Thanks, young man. Oh, maybe you should. Sorry, maybe you should help people in the chair. It happened 30 years ago. I was working in the coal mines. We were near the end of our shift and there was one last seam that needed to be broken up. I went in there aiming to set off a stick of dynamite, but my foot slipped into the crack and I dropped it. The dynamite exploded on impact. Oh my god. Next thing I remember was laying in hospital. They told me I'd never walk again. So there you have it. They probably figured I was just too old and weak. Well, I'll have you know I used to be spryer than a spring chicken if I hadn't been in that accident. Right, now, look, mate, I get it. Your legs don't work. There's no fucking excuse for all this filth down your shirt, is there? Especially when you've got other people living with you. You could use a napkin. Sorry, not that I'm here to, like, mock the disabled. Obviously, I don't understand his story. You've been very nice to me, uh, young man. I appreciate that. When you're old and start to forget, you start to forget anyone cares about you. I was here to give you a gift. I'm just saying, like... You could just, you could just wipe that off, though. Yeah. My favorite thing, thank you. Eight out of ten. Oh my god, you old prick. Sorry, I'm <laughs> sorry, George. <laughs> sorry, we're trying to be friends, aren't we? Oh my bad. Uh, it just kind of slipped out. Uh, Clint, Vincent, Clint and Vincent, and that's pretty much all I can be asked to do. Oh, and Haley, and Krobus. Oh fucking hell. Clint, Vincent, Haley, Krobus. Clint, Vincent, Haley, Krobus. Anybody on the map we can get to right now? Where's 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 Clint? He's not where. Clint. Clint, what do you want? Iridium Bar, you're in luck. I got shitloads of them. Yeah, yeah, big man. Wait, Aquamarine. I've got, I've got good quality Aquamarine. You want the good stuff? Yeah. I'm glad you're a farmer. No. Yeah. This is exactly what I've been looking for. Thank you. That and love. You know, like uh, reason to live. Fulfillment in life. All those difficult to attain things. Oh, they're still mashed together. Let's go see Krobus then. Forget Ginger Island. We're never going to fucking make it. The tingling stops. What do you want? Iridium bar, prismatic shard, void mayonnaise. Iridium bar, prismatic shard. What's a void mayonnaise quality looking like? 
Void mayonnaise. Oh, gold. So that'd be better than giving him just a crappy quality prismatic shard. Hello, Krobus. I have a delicious gift for you. Seven out does my great honor for my people to receive something like this. You're welcome. You are welcome. Right, good shit. We're almost done. Oh, obviously, we've only really got to do this again next week in game. Everything's fine. I'll wait for this lot to go home, I suppose. Um, is Elliot come back? No, nah, he's gone. He's gone to Ginger Island. He's walked away. Um, Morbius, we're done. Dwarf, we're done. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Yep, good, good, good. Sandy. Feel bad for Sandy. Obviously, Haley, I can't gift because she's in a mass of people. Elliot might be constantly doomed. I mean, it's a real shame if he was like the last one. Can you not piss off? Very annoying. That's his famous omelette. Mayor's need. We've got to bring Mayor Lewis a bottle of truffle oil, which I think I have on my person. Oh, you bought me the oil for my dick. Stroking my dick. I got lotion on my dick. Oh, here we go. Mayor Lewis, Marnie, I've bought you the lube. Hi, I'll take your order in a few moments. No worries. Emily, dory this up. What's she doing over there? She's kind of... Oh, my God, it's Elliot. This is a hard event with Elliot. What the fuck? You've come back from your journey across the seas. Hello, Greg. Now, what a pleasant surprise. I was just sh stopping to relax after an eight-hour writing session. So you, you went genuinely one sentence before you started being a twat? Oh, I've got such a big brain. Bartender, two of your finest ales, please. Oh. Gus is not happy about it. Pan's going to put something in the jukebox. Oh, look at that. Gus said he'd take an order in a second. Now he's walked in like... Just like skipping the queue, demanding. Wait, I propose a toast to... Your doom! Oh, I'm so tempted, but I know I need to befriend him. Oh, to Pelican Town, yeah. Whatever. Oh, to a harmonious sutra for the community. What a virtuous idea. Here's to Pelican Town. Mmm, cello and pedantic. 50 energy, nice. Ooh, strong stuff. It's, it, it would be fascinating to watch some other people play this and see the voices they give these characters because I can very much see how Elliot could fit into a... What the hell's going on with the fridge? Oh, it's for Gus's eggs. I could see very much how Elliot would fit into a kind of a multitude of stereotypes. I'm only a blacksmith because my father pushed me into it. <gasps> Green is only a barbarian because his father pushed him into it. Well, it's more like a, again, a hereditary thing. Oh, I wish they would stop doing that. The pathfinding is going to slow this shit down enormously, but never mind. Whatever, we'll manage, I suppose. Um, Mayor Lewis, who's the man I was looking for, where's he these days? Who's in his home? Mayor Lewis, I've got the truffle oil for your dick. <laughs> Good evening, hello. <laughs> I'm going to get for you, fella. Boom. Traditional tea setting. The man must be serious about the tea. Yep, yeah, whatever. Here. You got the oil? Let me see. Mm, it's high quality. Very slick. Mayor Lewis, I, I don't know what you're going to use that for, but you shouldn't use foodstuffs in, the, in that context. You'd get a terrible infection. It can really cause some awful, awful infections in every place. You didn't even know you could get infections. It's a horrible, horrible idea. I'm sure Grigna could brew you up some, some, some of the good stuff, you know? We got those dinosaurs. Just bury them for a, for a while, dig them up, get a little fractional distillation going on. Before you know it, C crude oil. <laughs> okay, maybe we don't use crude oil either. I wasn't really wasn't really thinking straight. Oh, that's a lot of hops. Did I not did I not rehop the machines today? Did we just go straight into town after doing the harvest? Well, that was very foolish. Very foolish indeed. Shit. Alright, you got anything for me? Any ales to sell? Thank you. How are you doing? Just smelting away. Living the good life. Perfect. How are you doing, Kiln? Great. I don't know why that's in there. Let's move that over. Do a little tidying. Might as well save myself a bit of a job in the future, because uh, there's a lot of shit to tidy up. Look at this junk chest. So much damn junk. That's a choke dip. Oh, it's a spicy eel just sitting around. Do you think two ostrich eggs would count for more than the chicken eggs. As the expression goes, a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. Is that right? I don't know if that's how the expression goes. I'm not a bird man. If I was, I promise you'll be the first to know. I'm not. Birds aren't real. How are we looking? 
Uh, get rid of this trash. That can go in the bin. That can go in the bin. The fish can go in the f f fish box. What are they called? The cold place where you put food. Uh, refrigerator. Just fridge in the UK because we like to be nice and uh, and I bet in Australia it's probably like a frigo or some shit like that because they love to do that with every word. Not everything has to be that. Australia, just letting you know, you don't have to, you know, you don't have to give everything a fucking nickname. It can just be a fridge. You wouldn't call it a bureau because that doesn't sound like a, like a tinny. I bet it'd be like a tinny, wouldn't it? I know what you people are like over there. Um, right, okay, so here's the plan. We're going to bash up these mayonnaise machines because Gus needs some eggs. <laughs> ah, these chickens better get to laying fast. Uh, yeah, mayonnaise machine, done. So the whole Mackies versus Maccas, like in the UK we call it Mackies, like McDonald's. Uh, it's Maccas in Australia, very weird. You make it sound like it's your pal. Whereas we're saying like Mackie, like, like, oh no, we've just had that many, fucking hell, we just have that many hops, good God. In the UK we're kind of like pluralizing it, shorten it and pluralizing it, because presumably we buy more than one thing. Because, you know, there's like an obesity epidemic. I, well, I'm as guilty of it as the next person. I buy an obscene amount of McDonald's and I feel sick for three days whenever I go there. So it's perfectly reasonable. Last time I went, I got a free uh, McFlurry because they must have accidentally put someone's McFlurry in my bag. And I, of course, rang them up and I said, sorry, you've accidentally given me someone else's order. And they said, sir, we're going to send someone to pick that up and we're going to pass it along to them. And I said, great. And they, of course, received their order and I definitely didn't eat it legally. I need to point that out. Uh, what have we got going on here? It doesn't matter, though, because if the delivery driver doesn't turn up after 15 minutes, you're allowed to leave. Let's put the prismatic... Okay, let's keep that. Let's keep this. I don't know why outlining a red actually does for us, to be honest. We need that. We need that. Um, if it just doesn't quick stack... No, I said that before, but then it did it. Uh, wasn't my Iridium bars? Oh, no. <gasps> I, th I thought I'd just sold them or done something. I don't know what. Oh, scary. Scary time. Right, I was quick favorite that. Can I give Emily all the uh, fiber? Because she wanted 200 fiber for a quest. At long last. She'll shut up about that one. Erin for your wife. It's taken about 15 years, so very true. Uh, an unbreakable lead bobber. Uh, bobber, 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 bobber. What am I looking for here? Bobber? Unbreakable lead bobber. Court bobber, quality bobber. How do I make a lead bobber, though? Unbreakable lead bobber. Magnet? Spinner, court bobber. Hey? Ha! <laughs> ah, oh, it's not base game recipe, is it? Is it an. Ah! Oh, we need an anchor. Where the freaking hell do I get an anchor from? Oh, I bet I could maybe pull one out of the um, magazine. Does that count? Because it's not like a. Oh, maybe you have to fish it up from somewhere. Weird. Um, let's see if we can just get it out of here. Um, anchor, anchor, anchor. Crystal, house plant, large. Anchor, anchor, war sconce, plasma TV. That's not quite an anchor. You could use it as an anchor, though. Probably wouldn't be very efficient. Modern TVs are very light. Probably wouldn't do shit. That would also be a complete waste of a, of a perfectly good TV. What is it, like this? Like a wall hanging? You'd hang an anchor on your wall. That's that's actually amazing. That, that's absolutely my aesthetic. It used to be. I used to have my office decorated like that. Like the, like the chitty 90s... Um, Memphis style is is the name of the kind of art inspiration anchor there you go like the memphis style was a different type of anchor it's clearly you idiot you picked the wrong type of anchor i know there are multiple types of anchors but emily <laughs> Psst, emily i've got your fiber it's iron fiber it's good wake up emily i've got your fiber <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. We'll sort it out tomorrow. Everything's fine. I have to worry about it. Right, let's check the basement. See if we've got anything going in there. I just want to be a bit more thorough here. And then I guess we'll wrap it up for today. Actually very productive. I know it doesn't seem like it. And it was a very slow episode where I didn't really get to the Ginger Island. Soon as we're done being not so secret Santa and giving all of these penises a bunch of gifts. Then we're free. We're finally free of this horrible burden that is friendship with randomers. Are they still stood on the bridge? So we know for the future, when they stand there, they stand there forever. It's a little bit creepy. 
Um, we're going to leave them to it, and we're going to sleep it off. And then tomorrow, we'll be able to wrap up a few of the friendships. We're almost done entirely with them. If we start giving them their fa that might be the first time ever that's not complained about not having any plants to bloody harvest. Then we need a little more wood before we can go to Ginger Island anyway. So, you know, accidentally worked out pretty, pretty ideally, didn't it? Making a lot of money. Making a smooth million every day from the, uh, from the hop processing. And there's still lots more to process as well, because we're getting kind of backed up with the hops at this stage, to be honest. So, that's always a good sign. We're, we're, we're selling as much as we can. We're selling more than we used to, and we're still, we still have an excess. So, it's pretty good. If you've got any hints, any advice for Ginger Island, which we'll probably be able to go to tomorrow when we get, like, a little bit more hardwood. That'll be the plan. Until then, let's tell me what that alien does. Tell me what the hell that alien does. I'm interested in that one, too. And then we'll be back tomorrow. Tiny child. Whoa! Uh, Grignor will not be back tomorrow. He is serving a life sentence for clubbing his child with a hammer. See you all tomorrow.